Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I'm going to be talking about how Withering Waves runs on the Google Pixel 8, and exactly how much of a gameplay experience it grants you. The Google Pixel 8 is a quite powerful phone in a lot of regards. It is great for gaming. Uh, as someone who has used it for a decent amount of time now, I would definitely recommend it, uh, but it is, it is a pricey device. So if you already have a Pixel 8 and you're wondering how well it's going to run this new title, well, I've got some good news for you. Overall, it runs very well, and it allows you to play on a very high setting bar without really any detriments to gameplay. The settings I would recommend for use if using the Pixel 8 would be the advanced graphics. You can put the drivers all the way up. You can put the resolution all the way up on high. You're going to want 30 FPS, and I'll get into why you want such a low FPS in a minute. Um, high shadow quality. You want high special effects quality. You don't want FSR. FSR is going to take a bit too much of the load and I feel like out of all of these things you can lose FSR and keep high quality elsewhere and you'll be fine. Uh, LOD bias you're going to want to have on high, capsule AO is going to be on on, and anti-aliasing is going to be on. So overall on the Pixel 8 you can play on a very very high graphics level uh, with some notable like downsides. You can't play higher than 30 FPS. Uh, so really you can get very very good pictures and very good uh, looks but you can't get uh, very very smooth gameplay uh, these settings will result in the game not having any crashing or freezing while playing at all i haven't noticed any while playing over the some 20 30 hours i have on the game now but i will note when you load into new zones there's gonna be some slight lag that's kind of just a part of gaming uh, that just occurs if you don't have an insane device and the Pixel 8 is good but it's it's not a NASA computer so just be aware that when you would in new zones right at the start of the game you're going to have a decent amount of lag. Um, there is certainly a heating issue that is found in this game but that is just a, a basic issue that is found in graphic intensive mobile games um, so just don't leave it charging while playing and don't play for extremely long periods of time, and you really shouldn't have any major issues with the heating. The heating's not going to get so bad that it messes up your phone. It never got to that point. I mean, I played straight for like 10 hours. Uh, it was just that it was hot to touch. Um, nothing really major in that world. Uh, I will also note that there is a noticeable bug on Pixel 8 regarding screen recording. Uh, this is present in a lot more apps than just Withering Waves, but if you screen record on the Google Pixel 8 using normal screen record tactics, it has a pretty high chance of not recording the audio, and that's just kind of part of what you got to deal with. I will note that, as I said earlier, it is possible to go higher than 30 FPS. You can go to 45, but I, and I think this is actually the default. I don't recommend this, though, at all, because when you do this, it will say in the load menu uh, that it is not, it says stuck, I think. But even if you can manage to mess around with the settings to get it to smooth, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of other settings just to get it down to, to smooth again. And even if you do, I played Smooth 45, and it was not a good experience. Uh, there was far more freezing, much hotter phone, much faster battery life drain. So I would definitely not recommend anything above 30 uh, FPS-wise, just because it, it takes that much bigger of a toll on your device. And it's just not worth it, in my opinion what you're getting if you're able to jump to 60 maybe it'd be worth it but you definitely can uh finally i think the last thing to touch on here is ease of playing pixel is a pretty large screen uh it doesn't really have any issues with not being able to hit all the buttons because it's, it's big enough but you are going to have some slight movement problems because it's not exactly a tablet or pc uh so i wouldn't recommend playing like dodge heavy builds or doing movement challenge on this device but everything else is going to work fine. You can play the game great. You're not going to have really any performance issues. You're going to be able to just vibe and, and play to your heart's content. So overall, uh, Pixel 8 runs Wua, or Withering Waves, very well. And I would recommend uh, the game if you own a Pixel 8. Hopefully this helps with all of y'all in deciding if you should or should not play this game. And until next time, this has been Chris Rubiste.